So while Ben is finishing up his, well, it's not a bubble machine, but you get the point. <laughs> I'm going to show you what fake citrine looks like. So, glasses. So this is citrine. Uh, my boss picked it up for the gem show. He knows better because I taught him better, but I'll show you. I don't know. I have to look at the screen to explain it. So right here, that purple you see is amethyst. I need to be able to see it. Okay. And this is what they would consider citrine. Except the thing is, is that this is torched in a lab. So they take amethyst and heat treat it and then it turns orange and that's what they call citrine. Natural citrine, Facts. natural citrine is orange, slightly, barely, like, I can't even pick one that's slightly enough to call it citrine. I have one, like an actual one, but I'm not going to go get it right now. But the point is, this is so obviously heat treated amethyst. What? I said this is so obviously <laughs> heat treated amethyst. Yeah. Definitely. So I'm Rainy. Oh, I picked this to fidget with. And I'm Ben. And this we are the Journals, Journals of Awakening. Awakening. What's up? We're supposed to say it at the same time. And we are... Ring light! The Journals, the Journals of, of Awakening. Awakening. So, High five! Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't did, leave you hanging live. <laughs> I did a dab. You did a dab? Yeah, I was not feeling podcasty, but... Oh, now you do? That's because that's what the dabs do. And what I like about dabs is that, like, what I like about cannabis in general is it gets you out of your head. And the reason I'm in my head, oh, I can see my breath, is because oh. yesterday, our landlord, who hasn't done our microwave in four months, or anything in our house in general, after promising he had all of these ideas, comes Lots over, ideas. and I come outside. Oh, he passes us and then backed up. The first thing he said, the first thing he said was, Sorry, I haven't been by to do your microwave. <laughs> like, Obviously, it's been bothering to, had, really. Yeah. <laughs> no, like it's buried to, in the shed now. I think he had to apologize first before what he was about to say. It was buried in the shed, just so you know. It's still buried in the shed. I broke a piece. Oh, great. Anyway. Too much no, 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 not on the ground. The fucking stabbed the shit out of my foot. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> And then he says, I'm renovating the trailer down the way and wanted to see if you guys were interested in having first pick and maybe moving in there because he wants to renovate this place. Well, check this out. We live here. And we don't know anything about the other trailer. I really don't care about that. I think We that don't know how big it is. We all know that's, anything. That's what I... Why, why can't... We're going to have to get over there, you know, like we did with the We're breaking thing. in. <laughs> 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 Fucking breaking in, dude. I got to check that place I out. Need That's the, how we check places. Yes, exactly. I need the layout <laughs> of the land, you know. I And the thing is, is that our first instinct is like, fuck yeah. New place, renovated. Addiction to chaos. Let's do it. Yeah. But then you go over there in the yard, like, will my trampoline even fit? Yeah, the yard's it will, probably but it'll half be, the size. like, up close to the back door. Yeah, which is not the end of the world, but no, we'll see. No, it's not, but I'm not getting rid of my trampoline. But the convenient part is we could walk it off. We don't have to go to U-Haul. Yeah, that's true. We but literally we have a big dog who likes his huge he wrap like around. his huge wrap And around. even though it wraps around, it's not huge. You got a picture right now. We're in like a sixty-four foot trailer, right? So like, and this is bigger so than the, the average the yard, single wide, right? The yard wraps thin wise. Single wides are smaller. Yeah, this is a big ass trailer. It's a three bedroom, two bath. That's, That's what, what we're I'm currently. saying. There's so whatever no we move into, there's no way. Yeah, it's gonna be more comfortable. What we don't know. We don't even know what the wise. rent is, guys. He didn't even say the rent. He just said you could move there. First dibs. <laughs> First dibs. We and, don't even know what the rent is. But you know, and then that's why I said, uh, keep us updated and we have an open mind. Because if we get first dibs, we're also allowed to say no. You know, yeah. we're just the first person he's asking. And Absolutely. Except the more reasons I can think that I want to stay, I the only thing I can think about leaving is that, well, if he just fixed the floor, maybe I'd feel better. <laughs> Yeah, our floor is pretty if, And then I go, if he could just fix the kitchen. Yeah. And I, it just like keeps <laughs> It just kind of keeps going. Yeah. And then that's when I'm like, I move over there for six months <laughs> and then come back. I just, I can't imagine someone else living in this trailer while it's renovated. Especially after all the work we put into this yeah, place. Yeah, that sounds This like... place did not even have hot water or running water. Like, 
The exactly. sinks were all broken. Everything was trash. Like the toilets sounds, didn't work. Nothing. It sounds depressing to me to not live in this house. <sighs> yeah, we brought this house a long way. However, it's depressing to live in this house. It's falling apart. It is. Yeah. You we know. Talk about it all the time. Yeah, we we have heat. And that's great. We got our heat now. That's true. We didn't have heat last year. So we this could cook is nice. on a stove. Yeah. And yeah, that's a stove great. this year. Hot Very water. Nice. Wow. Huge water tank. Uh, yeah. Hot water that uh, goes 40 forever. Gallon. 40 gallon, I think. 40 gallon. It's the yeah. biggest. It's the big one. Yeah. yeah. It's the same my mom has. And we converted it to electric. We have no gas in the house. So uh, chances are that house down there is going to have gas. And that's but to another... me, the most comfortable thing is that it's big enough to where we don't crowd each other. Yeah. You know? I don't know what how we got in this rabbit hole. Well, that's what we were talking about. What? The whole thing. Oh, the landlord. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> rabbit Stupid hole. Stupid bubbler. He, he, called, he called our topic of podcast a rabbit hole. I'm like, what else is this supposed to be? I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to go down this way anymore. <laughs> Let's talk about other things. So, but then I realized while I was washing dishes, I turned around and I remember that you told me that this is considered. A big single wide. It is. It's too bad. Wide. Yeah. It's too bad. There's no way it's not. Yeah. Right. You said that it... Like, you, you've lived in trailers before, right? No. Oh. I grew up in trailers. And yes, trailer always... Y'all can relate. They're like... That's what I'm saying. Realistically, about that wide. Like, just wide enough to where you don't have to turn sideways. <laughs> yeah. We live in a pretty good-sized <laughs> trailer. However... The size is the only thing that matters to me. But it's the biggest thing that matters to me. You cannot have three children and live in a two bedroom. Well, you can. You can have three children. I mean, her down the street when she used to live in that, that house, she had, what, like five children? You, oh, God. You I don't know how do they it, did that. Yeah. But it's not comfortable and you're never going to yeah. be happy, especially if you've already been given a cheap rent for a good size. Either way, we've been talking about moving and uplifting and doing something crazy right but we just have a perfect opportunity we still have to look into it and it like fell into our lap so this is like the real test i'd say like if this is the place this is the place otherwise we should really just stop looking that's what i'm thinking you know what i mean i'm thinking stop. yeah <laughs> obviously obviously we're supposed to be here in this yeah. town yeah. it's not time to leave and that's why the opportunity for moving was presented in this town mm -hmm. okay however I don't think that was a yes on the opportunity. I think it was more of like mind opening, like, no, like the only other place you're going to get is somewhere else in town. You know, it's not like, it's not. Well, that's true too. Yeah. I mean, because it's the same landlord, so chances are the rent will be affordable. But we don't know. We don't know anything. Well, I don't care about that. It's just like, we keep suggesting other towns and I just. Oh, because I, I got a lot of ties here. And see, so just, do I now. Yeah, I know. I just feel like it's like time to ties. put the TNT under that bridge and move to the next one. And, you know, well, that's what... That's Don't what, burn bridges. That's what Georgia does in Ginny and Georgia. Every time Who's things that? get hard or uncomfortable, she ups and moves. That show I just finished watching. The murder? I mean, yeah, she did it because she murdered people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but not, not like a... Totally relatable. <laughs> not like a Norman Bates kind of... I mean, kind of a, like on the opposite scale. She only killed two people. One was an accident, and the other one was because... He put his hand on his her daughter's thigh in a very abusive way, and the mother witnessed it from the stairs, pretended like everything was fine, and then made him a poisonous breakfast smoothie. You know, so on one hand, your mom killed because she... It's murder. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, okay. I know. <laughs> yeah. You know the show and, and the comments on YouTube drive me crazy. Uh -huh. This is a rabbit hole. This is called a rabbit hole. Okay. But the comments on YouTube drive me crazy because they're like, finally, Ginny will appreciate Georgia. Georgia's the mom. And I'm thinking, murder. Georgia yeah. has a God complex and no daughter needs to deal with the weight of her mom killing people for her. She's like, I killed him for you. And her daughter's like 25. In real life. She needs yeah. to move out. <laughs> like, come on, man. In real life, they're only eight years apart. Wow, yeah. yeah. You can tell. <laughs> Well, that's the point. They tried to make it look like they were like 15 years apart. Like, to put it in perspective. The mom almost looks the same age as the daughter, in my opinion. Well, the mom in real life is 33. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty young. Yeah, that's your age, almost. I'm 34. She's turning 34 in a couple months. Don't care. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it is not... Up and moving is not the way... 
to feel comfortable. It's not the way to ground yourself either. Exactly. You have to live in the, I don't give a shit about anybody else but me. And those are the lessons you got to overcome, you know? But, like, not in, like, like no, a, yeah. Think about number one. Selfish has been twisted, the word. Yeah, so when you think of, you know, uh, our kids' relatives saying, they were over all summer and they didn't come see me. Okay, you know, instead of, like, getting mad, you just ignore it. Because it's, when you, it comes to living with life. ties, with bad ties. Life goes on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Life go. Nobody, I, in a, two days, he'll forget he even said it. <laughs> so it's like. I'm gonna try. Yeah, you're also just a homebody, you know? Yep. You're afraid of the outdoors. I'm not afraid. Of the outdoors? I avoid it. You avoid communication. <laughs> well, because you should just cut it and start a new podcast. It's not long enough. <laughs> oh, this is, we gotta keep going. Um, because uh, what, what was I gonna say? Because, 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 afraid of the outdoors. Oh yeah, because uh, it always comes with the chance of disappointment. It never, it never comes with anything like good. You don't go home going, man. I'm glad I got out today. I do. That's never, not in my life. Never. Every once. time, it always feels so good to do oh, something. No, not me. I'm mad. I'm like, God damn, it's good to be home. Put my shit where it goes. Sit where <laughs> I like to sit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think that's like your autism, though. Maybe. Yeah, like being comfortable at home. Being I don't know. Inside of your comfort. I got zone. triggered during my live today. Did you? Yeah, I did. And I don't think he watches my podcast, so I'm going to call him out. What if he does? All right. Just say the comment. He'll know. Okay. Well, he said in the comment, he was joking, but he said, uh, I said, I cry all the time. I was talking to some other guy about it, right? And he says, why do you cry all the time? Question mark, question mark, question mark, joking. And I just um, started thinking about why I cry all the time. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I'm going to cry. Took it so literally. <laughs> So that's why, that is why he puts joking, because he knows that he would take it personally. It was a triggering, yeah. And yeah. the spider just chilling. He's tiny. Don't worry. He's tiny. I can't even see. My glasses are off. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> little tiny baby dog anybody. legs, little baby. So then you think of, if you were to move down the street, Yeah. I would be miserable with my neighbors. Well, I am so happy oh, and comfortable with yeah. who we live next to. They know us well enough. I like now living at so the front, years. you know, so I don't have to go all the way in the back. That's true. Well, right. we have parking. We have parking. That's the other thing. This house down the road, guys, no parking. You can see the mountain from our window. There's yeah, literally no the reason to move except the fact that he's renovating it. Just because he requested. It's because we've been here for years, and, and we're probably the first family ever to stay here for that long. Who doesn't own a trailer? Because it's an affordable kind of place. So people live here in a struggle, and then they leave. But we live here, fixed it. Now we live here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, so I, it's, and I don't want to move here. I don't either. You know, he's going to renovate that place cool, so we'll have a renovated house, and I'm a little envious. But whatever. But chances are they won't live there long. <laughs> yeah, that too. I just, there's always going to be the opportunities, but there's never going to be this opportunity, you know? It's like if you were to move to a different town. The idea is someone living in this house, making memories. I don't like this. <laughs> Making this memories. is my memory making house. That's my vent. I found and, that vent. And we promised our little seven year old that we would never move in the coming years. Did we? Yes, we promised because we told him promised. he would always have the same house to come back to. You know, he's a Capricorn rising. Yeah, well. I made that promise? You made that promise. You made that promise to him. And that's, okay. That's why I remember. Well, man, my word. So. Yeah, and so because, <laughs> because you know, he, he moved again, and he doesn't want to move. And you yeah, said, I promise I'm not moving. Yeah. It's because, yeah, I grew up moving every five, six months. So even though we feel a little cramped, it's time for us to take matters into our own hands. You know, we're... Break some cycles, baby. Exactly. And it, in mid-February, maybe we should start investing in ourselves some renovations yeah i'm down and, and we can talk to them just, about it it just takes money and it's like do we want to put money into a place that doesn't belong to us anybody would say no don't be an idiot but like we so think to be about here it for a long way. time it's just money you know <laughs> if we're honest and you know we 
talk to him and we're like, the only place we'd even, the only reason we think of moving is because it's renovated. However, in the coming months, we will have the means to be able to make some changes and then work on it together. Like, he can provide what we want and we'll do it. Yeah, literally, if he bought me some materials, I can get this house put together. Exactly. You know what I mean? So maybe we should think about that instead. Mm -hmm. I want to paint. I think painting our bedroom yeah. would make me feel like a totally different headspace. You know? The floors are the biggest problem. And if he wants no, to help with that, right. then that's fine. Our, our, we have no roof leaks. Surprising, right? Surely no roof leaks, but we don't. And But our floor is holes. Yeah. <laughs> Not holes, it's just... The wood's old. You can tell it's caving in certain spots. I've patched a few places. It used to have under the under ventilation, the, the heating ventilation in the floor. Yeah. And uh, so those pipes are everywhere, and there's vents that don't work. Just, you know, it needs work. He thinks it'll be easier to kick us out of this house so he can renovate it by himself than to think about how we must feel living here. So maybe I'll even just send him a text and explain that, you know? Well, we know what we're doing. Yeah. On that note, we thank you. Peace. Peace.